Welcome to the 49ers You've Got Mail podcast presented by Manscaped. I'm your host, Lindsay Polaris. Today, we are joined by safety George Odom and linebacker Demetrius Flanagan Fowles. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for having us. All right, George, welcome to the Pleasure. pod. And Thank Flan, you. welcome back. <laughs> Flan, you were my first guest of the year, so what do you think about the upgraded studio here? Man, this is great. <laughs> Up close and personal. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, so we are counting down the days to the NFC Championship. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Great. It's a process every day. <laughs> <laughs> but is, are there nerves? Is this an exciting time? What, what are we feeling right now? Uh, you don't want to make the moment too big, so just taking it day by day. I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you know I try to uh, do like the same thing over and over every week, uh, just prepare myself, just like any other game. So normal, normal day at work. All right, George, I want to start with you. You spent four seasons with the Colts, signed as a free agent here. Now you're getting ready for your first conference championship ever. Is this team everything you hoped it would be? Don't lie. <laughs> I know he had to take a deep breath there. At the first beginning of the season, you know, I was like, uh, uh, uh. but now it's like, okay, like I assume we kind of assume our roles and like I'm take we taking a part of it. It's, a, it's an everyday process. Right. I love it here. Translation: He loves it here. He lo- he, yeah, loves, he it loves it here. here. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to give you a grown up answer. I know that was, that was good. It's eloquent. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Flan, for you, second trip to the conference championship mm-hmm. in three years for mm-hmm. this team, three in the last four. Mm-hmm. Does it ever become kind of commonplace, or is it more just a standard that you guys have set for yourselves? I mean, you know, we've been we've been short of the stick for the past what three out of the four years in terms of getting a ring. So all it's, it's for us, we kind of want to get over that hump. So that's kind of the mindset we're going into it, just trying to get over that hump and, you know, win this one, but also win the big one. So, you know, that's the goal for us. As on the prize, as you prepare for this upcoming game, do you reference last year's 2021 NFC Championship game just sort of for fuel of the fuel to the fire? Yeah, you know, and, and Kyle kind of does a good job of it every every Saturday night, and I'm sure he's probably going to do it again. He's going to show us that NFC Championship game where we <laughs> fell so short of. So, I mean, kind of having that sour taste in our mouth and not wanting that again, that's kind of that kind of does the motivation motivation for itself. So I think we'll... I think we're already internally motivated in that aspect. I think Fred talked about just a hunger. Can you expand on that? Just that hunger you guys are feeling? Yeah. I mean, we're extremely hungry. Like like I said, we've been short three out of the four times. So, you know, we're, we feel like we're, you know, this is going to be the, the year for it. So let's go get it. Sure. This is as far as I've ever been. So, <laughs> you know, I'm coming full speed every play. <laughs> I love that. All right. It's been a minute since either of you had had to travel to the link or really anywhere other than Levi's Stadium. You're now headed to Philly. What is the atmosphere that you guys are expecting to walk into? Have you ever played there? I don't know. Oh, it's crazy. Have. I went back in your seasons, George. You were there once. Once. Dog, once. It's, it's crazy out there. Like, And then now we're going to be there for the NFC Championship. Like, it's it's about to be crazy. I think we was in, like, a, like a beat-up hotel downtown last time I went. It was I like, don't remember our hotel situation, but it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> dog, it's, it's crazy out there. It's, I mean, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Like, dog, you're going to love it. I love crazy. No, you're going to love it. You know, I love crazy. when they yell and scream and yeah, going no, it's, crazy. It's, it's crazy. Out there. <laughs> Be louder. It's love it. It's going to love it. Do you guys find yourself trying to agitate the crowd a little bit when you're in a hostile environment like that? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, I mean, hopefully we don't get any touchbacks. But if we do get some touchbacks, you know, we're going to get on the crowd's nerves. And that's our job. Running. <laughs> like I said before, we running. <laughs> Hun, we hungry. <laughs> Let me emphasize that stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, both of you play significant snaps on special teams. That phase of the ball has made a huge difference, especially this last game against Dallas. The 50-yard, I think, punt return or kick return. Mm-hmm. Robbie Gold went four for four on field goals and then the blocked extra point. The defense likes to stress takeaways. What do you guys stress every game? Sure, we still looking for our takeaway. No. <laughs> I mean, take, we got one takeaway on the season. Yeah, that early in the season. Yeah, we need we need about a, about a couple of more on, on kickoff at least. Honestly, uh, we're going into this game thinking about field position. Honestly, mm-hmm. if you want to just look at it, uh, mm-hmm. trying to be more explosive on punt, mm-hmm. uh, stopping inside the twenty, 
every time or on, inside the 15. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah he hit it on the head. We got a block, just our responsibility on kickoff return, mm -hmm. uh, punt return. You know, it, it's going to be man on man. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, if we win that field and then we're going to wield it, we're going to win that hidden yardage. That goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just got to do our job. So, on paper, Eagles and 49ers match up pretty well. Do you guys kind of look at yourselves as the difference makers there? Because it's top two defenses in the league, mm -hmm. top ten rushing attacks, top mm -hmm. five offenses. So, is special teams the difference in this game? I think that's kind of the mindset we kind of take into every game. You know, try to make a, make a play on special teams. Kind of like that hidden yardage battle we always talk about. So, if we can be positive in that aspect, then... You know, we should be fine. George, you led the league in special teams tackles in the regular season. Hey, you know what's crazy? So, <laughs> at the beginning of the season, Flynn was going crazy. I was like, what oh, my God. God. I'm going to catch up to this guy. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> then Harper was just harping on me about, mm -hmm. like, just running faster. Yeah. And running faster. I was like, man, running fast not going to get the job done. Mm -hmm. The show but, is you know, it, is it I'm out I'm out there running like two to three or four yards in front of everybody. Mm. I'm finna set leverage on the returner. Mm. So yeah. I'm finna just, all right, I'm gonna let everybody eat off me. Mm -hmm. So you feed off that energy. You're not scared of of being the gunner there. It's like throwing, it's like, imagine, imagine you got like a little flame right here. And you just throw, get the hairspray, just, it, it's like explosion for me. It's like, it just fuel my, fuel my energy in my, my chest, mm -hmm. get me pumping, I'm running. Yeah. Love that. Okay. <laughs> We've got our special teams guys fired <laughs> up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get to some of the fun questions. But actually, uh, George, you were talking about growing up in Tennessee and some of the fun stuff that you like to do in Arkansas. So let's go there first. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> one thing I used to love in Arkansas, just going riding. Uh, I had three folders that passed off season one with the mud and ass. Uh, like I was saying before, I was telling this little story about me and my friend Fernando. We was riding for like 10 hours. It was like on Saturday. So we are, I already put 17 hours on my four-wheeler. So it's like we are dead beat tired. It's 5 in the morning. We see the big old hawk coming out of the bushes out of nowhere. I got hogs. It was in Arkansas. Wow. <laughs> I know. New but it, it was like here. It was like half a, half a million people there too. So I'm like. Yeah, we got saguaro cactuses and all like, that good stuff. <laughs> This is my home, California, yeah. anyway, so we don't do it's, that. It's 5.30. We were chasing this hog down, trying to shoot it. It was God, crazy. God, that was God. some of the good, best times of my life, so just God. going back. I'm still going riding this year. Yeah, no. March 15th. <laughs> <laughs> Plans like, Can't okay. wait to be in that mud. <laughs> Plan, are you even thinking about the off season right now? No. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. No. You're like, no. <laughs> Maybe uh, yeah. you can take a trip down yeah. to Arkansas with, with George. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to do some things, huh? <laughs> we'll be out in the woods. <laughs> All right, next question. Steven from San Jose. What's been your favorite memory of the season so far? Take the lead, George. After you, Flan. <laughs> <laughs> I think, though, the experience of playing with George Odom, the special teams ace, should have been first team all pro. But we got the second team all pro. Second team all pro. Which is a lot to be proud of. Uh, there. You still got you got rigged. You got rigged. I, I, hey, I'll take it away for you. I'll take it away for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Playing with him on a on a day to day process. Uh, that's my that's my favorite part of the season. What a guy, Flan. What a guy. <laughs> my favorite part of the season. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't hopefully, answer hopefully right we now. can answer that here in a few weeks. Hopefully we can answer that in a few weeks. I come back and answer that question for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. This one, nobody has actually had a good answer to. Mm. Is there a postseason superstition that either of you lean into? I think I got to max out on my hours of video games. If I don't get enough hours on video games, then it's not going to be a good year. Wait, is that a serious one? That's a very serious one. I have to max out my hours on video games. I have to play video games to the point where I get tired of it. If I'm not tired of playing video games, I have not maximized my offseason. Give us a ballpark hour range there mm, like i have to go through a couple of seasons in 2k and you know in 2k you like there's like a lot of games mm -hmm. plus playoffs so if i don't max out that time period my apologies kiera um it's not a good off season not a good look <laughs> don't make him angry <laughs> all right while he's playing 2k I'm living the life of 2K. I'm nice. in the gym hooping. Nice. Okay. I have to hoop. Nice. I'm talking about last year I went uh play with Dallas, busting their heads. Ooh. Busting them. I'm coming nice. out like an NBA star, just shooting it. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. 
You can shoot. Okay, so these are. I gotta shoot, man. These are off-season superstitions. What about playoff ones? Do you have? Oh, any? you said postseason. Uh, yeah, I said postseason, guys. <laughs> I was like, okay. I, I, I'm I, was like, I was like, we can roll with that. Oh, That's also true. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, That's ahead, all right. Go ahead, George. Go I heard ahead. you say postseason, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I don't really know where he's going with this. Okay, but my all fault. Right. My fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh, I let Flan take the lead. Okay. I mean, I mean, like I said, like you don't want to make the moment too big. You don't want to make the moment too big, so like I just go through the regular, regular season, you know, routine that I have. So I don't make it, don't make the moment too big. So just. you don't have to put your socks on in the same order, like tie your laces, like. Nah, that's doing too much. Yeah, no, nah, you, yeah, nah, you, 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 you some overdo people it. have it. No, nah, you overdo it. it. You overdo it. No, nah, you just got. I just got to make sure. You know, oh, pizza Thursdays. I mean, that's kind of a go. big deal for me. That's pizza all year Thursday. though. That's not just postseason. I guess uh, postseason, I'm really just like, I try to, uh, I ever watched Dragon Ball Z, where um, Goku and like Super Saiyan 1, you know what I'm saying? And nice. then he got a Super Saiyan 2. Nice. Well, I feel like I've been leveling up all year, so Ooh. now I'm almost a Super Saiyan 3 now. Yeah, like, you hear that? Leveling up all I'm year. I'm leveling up all year. Leveling up all year. Like, mm -hmm. my performance get better. I run faster. I run mm -hmm. harder. And I guess that's... And one thing I do, kind of like my ritual, like I, I share with everybody, like right now, I um, say, for example, we go out there, warm up with the team. Just, it's just game day. So okay. we all we, are, we go out there, we do a little 7 on 7 scale and all that other stuff. I come back in the locker room, and I go completely black. Like I go put, I go lay down by myself, put headphones in, put the noise canceling on, and I put the uh, towel on my face just like to go zero. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like to breathe in. Feel like I'm here in nature and stuff like that. Visualize, and then I take that, I take, take it off my face. I'm uh, Super Saiyan on. three. I'm ready. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Okay. <laughs> well, it's been working, so keep doing mm -hmm. that. All right. Is there a special way that you like to motivate the crowd at Levi Stadium? Do you do you have a special pump uh, up for the? I'm for the just fans? a goofy person in general, so anything goofy, that's probably what I'm doing. Okay. So I got this uh, uh, thing from Seattle. I was watching a defensive player, and then he uh, ended up going like this, just turning sideways and going like this. I was like, oh, my God, that stood out. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I'm doing the same thing on kickoff. Nice. They're going to stand out to the crowd. And like I said before, it fuels a fire. Mm -hmm. It fuels a fire. You know what I'm saying? It gets, it, gets us, it gets everybody ramped up more. And they just imagine, like, uh, the defensive players, like, most of the defensive players on kickoff. So when the, when the crowd get loud on third down and stuff like that, the defense eat. Mm -hmm. It's the same way for the kickoff. Mm -hmm. The louder y'all get, the faster we run it. Nice. So I want y'all to be the loudest y'all can go. All right. So next question. What is the most hostile environment you have played in up to this point in your career? I can answer that one first. You go ahead. <clears throat> so I was playing for the Colts, and uh, it was the second round of the playoffs. When I say uh, that Friday practice was the worst practice in my life, like Ooh. it was 10 degrees outside. Wind chill like negative five, and they still made us practice outside when we got to indoor. And the yeah. game was only 34 degrees snowing. I'd rather play in the game than practice. Practice, the balls felt like bricks hitting your hand. That was the worst environment, like Do you going into it that week. Crowd That's noise? Whatever whatever that means to you. It could be weather, too. I think 2019 when we played the Saints. I was hurt that game, though. But it but, was still pretty oh loud. Oh, my gosh. Like, it was, like, to the point where... You had to cover your ears if you're not playing. Like, is that because you know the sound gets trapped in there? So like, it was, it was, it was crazy. Just <laughs> till the, I mean, godly. Yeah, it's it's hard to explain. Like, you know what, how loud it actually was. It was that. It was that crazy. But that's like exciting, right? Like when it gets that loud. Yeah, like, I mean it's exciting. It but, I mean, we, we were. We, I mean, we were away. So, we were away. So like, it's kind of kind of intimidating like, this, to this us. This is not helping. This is not. This is not okay. <laughs> All right. So where would you rank the Levi's fans, the faithful? How they do this year in terms of getting loud at Levi's Stadium? What's our scale? Like, I mean, I thought they were like all time. I mean, I thought it was. I thought they were amazing. I thought they were top of the top. I mean, yeah. they, they did a great job. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, for sure. Yeah, Lee. I mean, they were, yeah. They were, they were, they were doing some things out there now. Was there a road game? I don't know. When Dallas came, they was getting a little loud. No, nah, nah. Dallas ain't had nothing on, <laughs> Dallas ain't had nothing on the faithful now. Them boys, them boys, yeah, them yeah, boys. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fan. Our fans showed up. Yeah, no, our oh, fans. Yeah. Yeah. You mean our yeah. fans showed up, yeah, not yeah, they fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, no, every, now, one thing about it. Don't get it turned. One thing about it. 
The faithful, they be traveling now. I remember when we went to Jacksonville last year. Jacksonville. And that stadium was red. No matter of fact, Carolina this year. I was about to say, Carolina was Like, then it, made, it doesn't make no sense. I'm like, where are y'all, where are y'all coming from? Man, they be deep, they deep. I don't, I, I'm not understanding. I'm like, God dang. All right. So, let's see here. Who is a player on the special teams unit that doesn't get enough shine? Don't name each other. Name someone else. <laughs> Oren Burks. That's a good one. I have to, yeah. O- OB. OB does come? not get enough love. Give us a reason. I mean, what? I mean, what? You got you got 21. I got 18. And OB has what, like 14? I mean, 14. When you have double digits in special teams now, because that's a great year. That's a good and year. And he has eclipsed that. I mean, we all eclipsed it, but he's eclipsed it. So, I mean, the fact that we're not talking about Oren Burks a little bit more often is kind of disrespectful, in my personal opinion. That's a good one. I already took the good yeah. one, so you got to get somebody else. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about somebody else. Honestly, I was thinking about uh, Javeris Moore, you know. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you on Just that being one. like Gunner, the other five, like, mm-hmm. even though he probably didn't make as many plays as other people expected, he's still right there. Like, mm-hmm. he's causing other people to make plays. Right. So good. I agree. At the end of the day, like, he should get more shine also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And some of the tight ends, like, they were doing great in the beginning of the season. We can go down the whole list. You know, uh, how, how much time you got? Give me a minute. <laughs> this is your space. <laughs> All right. We have one more fan question. What are the top three travel essentials that you are bringing with you to Philly this weekend? Bring my speakers so I can get my mind right. Mm. That's a good music right there. Mm-hmm. Gotta have the phone. Mm. Gotta have an outfit. Mm. What is the outfit? Do you want to preview it? Man, whatever we wearing. <laughs> I don't even have my outfit right now. I'm going to go look for it right now. <laughs> going to the mall after this. I'm going straight to the mall. <laughs> I might go to TJ Maxx. Don't play with me. Oh, he's a Maxinista. Okay. I'm a cheap person. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Plan, how will you follow up that? That's um, pretty good. I think, I think you know, toothbrush and toothpaste is pretty essential. Very okay. Yeah, yeah don't fine. leave without we, we it. Ain't gonna, we ain't gonna. We ain't gonna talk about the obvious. But you can always buy that on the road. Yeah, though. we ain't gonna talk. We ain't gonna talk about the obvious. Yeah, so the obviously, obvious. headphones is probably the, the number one thing you got to bring because if you don't, you're gonna be miserable. Um, dang, what else? What else? Mm, my second one is gonna have to be my breathing belt. Shout out Neuro Peak. What is, um, wait, what is a breathing belt? It just helps me with my breath oh. so I can calm my mind down. Okay. And then the third one will have to be, oh, dang, man, that's hard, man. I'm, I'm a very simple guy. My iPad, I guess. My iPad for the watch film. One. Yeah. All right, let's close this out. Give us a hot take that you'd like to end this podcast with. Any hot take. Any hot take, Flan. Man, you're here with your boy, All Pro Geo and Flan again. I got it. <laughs> Special team killers for the 49ers. Hey, when you see us on the field, say let's go, Gio. Uh, so my hot take will be. <laughs> 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 so my hot take will be, you know, a lot of y'all pizza lovers out here believe that pineapples belong on pizza. It does not. It doesn't. You eat pineapples with your pizza? You put pineapples on your pizza? Uh no, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Pineapples do not belong on pizza. Leave it alone. No pineapple. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right. That's it from us. Thank you for tuning in to the 49ers. You've got mail presented by Manscaped to be featured in our next episode. Make sure to email your questions to 49ers.com slash mailbag. And don't forget to subscribe on Spotify and Apple Podcasts to listen to our latest episodes. Thanks, nice. guys. Last thing. Don't say I can't because you can't. <laughs>